Hi, everybody. We are going to go through the process of submitting an abstract to present at the Undergraduate Research Symposium. So first, you need to go to our SurveyMonkey Apply site, and you'll see the address right up here, fsu-cre.smapply.us. Okay, <clears throat> so we want everyone to log in with your FSU ID information. So if you go to FSU, up in the corner, go to login, and then FSU ID login. <clears throat> Okay, you won't have this screen most likely, so I'll click applicant. And then you'll see this screen. You'll see I have no applications. So when you click on view programs, it'll show you all the different things you can apply for. And for this, we are going to submit our symposium abstract. So I'll go down here and click more. And then I will click on apply. And now, the next piece is to fill out the form where you put, put in all of your information, your project's information, and add your abstract. So first we look over the general information about the uh, symposium. It will be in person on April 6th in the student union and is open to all undergraduate researchers. And this <clears throat> gives you a little more information about if you're doing a group, and how poster presentations will run. Uh, so I'm gonna fill this out as if I'm part of a group with uh, my colleague, David Advent, CREU, CRE.FSU.EU. I am, if you are a Europe student and you hit yes, you will have to add your Europe leader names. Um, otherwise just hit no. <clears throat> And we're going to ask about Garnet and Gold. Are you honors in the major? Okay, so this piece is where you select the time frame that you want to present your posters. So there will be four different time slots for presentations. Um, so it will be on a Thursday. So be sure to check uh, your class schedule and try to pick a time frame that doesn't interfere with classes. But if you if that's not really an option, we will be providing um, excuse letters. Okay, <clears throat> and then let us know if you're part of a group. If you click yes, we'll take you to more pages to ask about your group members information. If you click no, we'll get information about your project. So I'm going to click yes, and <clears throat> let us know if you've ever participated in your op before. So now I can enter information about my colleague, David Advent. Um, but I really want him to fill that piece out. I can start to put in information and he can edit it because I don't think you can continue on to the next piece unless there is information. And the next piece is where you talk about your project. <clears throat> so here he is not presenting his honors in the major either and he'll be choosing these times. But again, I can add him as a collaborator and he can edit this to make sure it's completely accurate. Okay, so no additional group members. You can have up to six members on a poster, um, but during each time slot, only two people can present the poster. Um, it's just to kind of mitigate sound. <clears throat> so here we'll put in our poster presentation title, okay, then selecting your research mentor's title, if they're a doctor, professor, Mr., Ms., or um, if they have a different title, please be sure to confirm with them um, before submitting. And I'm going to have Latika as my research mentor. And if you have any additional research mentors, please add their information along with their title. And this is asking about the Nourishing Creativity Lunch Hour, uh, which is 
going to be during the day of, and you get to do a more creative presentation um, <clears throat> as opposed to necessarily a poster. If you are in your app, you must do a poster um, regardless of if you're in nourishing creativity or not. So I'm going to say no. Uh, but if you do select yes, or I need more information, you'll get an email about the um, the <clears throat> nourishing creativity and a link to the application. And let us know if you have any special accommodations. And then finally, you'll have to confirm that you read this <laughs> information. Um, and if you mark it as complete, or when you mark it as complete, an email will be sent to your, you, your co-presenters, and your research mentor with the presentation information. Um, because I have another group member, David Advent, I am going to save and continue editing. Because if I hit mark as complete, he won't be able to edit it. But if I save and continue editing, I can go back to the application and then add him as a collaborator. <laughs> so an important note about this is that you must add the official FSU email address if they are associated with FSU. If not, you can add whatever address they have, but you have to make sure that they log in with the exact same address that you entered. Otherwise, they won't have access to your application. So to get the official FSU uh, email address, they can go to my.fsu.edu and <clears throat> the official FSU email address is listed on the right-hand side of that page right under uh, the name of the person. So for David, I'm going to use his official FSU email. I'm making sure it says view and edit so he can edit his selections and I will send the invite. So he should get an email and it's going to ask him to click join now. And then he'll um, <clears throat> log in and he should have access to this application to make edits. Uh, <clears throat> so David is also on this Zoom link. Did you get yes. the... Let me go ahead and share my screen and the email that I received so you can look at that. Restart. So this is what the email should look like when you receive it after uh, the person who's submitting the application adds you as a collaborator. So you're going to click on join now, that button there. And it will bring up SurveyMonkey for you. Um, you will want to make sure that you're logged in to SurveyMonkey Apply with your FSU ID. And when you're already logged in, after you click on that button, you should get this page that says, thanks, you're now collaborating on an application. You can continue to that application, click on fill out a form, look over the information. That's Alicia's information. And then I can look over and see, okay, well, maybe I, I want to use this email instead. Or really anything that needs to be changed, you can change that here. This looks good, and I'll click mark as complete, and then complete task, and it will be submitted once again, and you will get an email as well as Alicia will get an email saying that the task has been successfully completed. Yes, um, I did want to add, don't mark it as complete until everyone has finished their edits because you cannot edit it after it's been submitted. And then finally, um, your abstract, you will have time to edit it before it goes into the program. So if it's not quite perfect for the program, when you submit it here, um, you and your research mentor will be able to edit it for the program. So thank you so much. And let us know if you have any additional questions. <laughs>